everybody welcome back so today I'm doing my weekly wrap-up for this week and what I'm planning to start and what I'm currently reading and for my treat this week I made some banana bread because we had some bananas that were getting a little old so I made some banana bread so I had a pretty good reading week I finished seven books this week so that was good uh, the first one that I finished was Golden Sun this is the second book in the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. And this is about, uh, it's a science fiction, I think it has some fantasy elements in it. But it takes place on Mars or in outer space. And uh, the society is assigned by colors. Golds are at the top and reds are at the bottom. And this is kind of the reds fighting back trying to get more than what they have because at this point they're slaves and they basically just kind of get whatever the leftovers are from the rest of the society. Second one really enjoyed. Nice. I love the ending. I'm really excited to pick up the next one. I think it'll be a, a couple months before I pick that up though. Then I also read a, a cookbook obviously and this one was about making meatloaf and it was kind of repetitive but I did make some of the recipes and and then next I finished I started and finished Frankenstein by Mary Shelley the classic I've heard people call it science fiction I've heard it called horror this is a classic uh, about a man who wants to conquer death so he creates a monster or in this monster kind of destroys his life and then the next one that I finished was the city in the middle of the night by Charlie Jane Andrews and this is I guess it's science fiction it takes place on another planet and there's these cities but this planet is kind of a harsh environment so you have places that are really cold you have places that are really hot and then and not really a whole lot in between so there's really just kind of these extremes and it's about these kids I should the probably young adults who are trying to find a better life because they don't like the city that they're living in and they kind of meet up with the local aliens and try to make their lives better it doesn't really go that well for them but it was it was okay next one that I finished is Oathbringer this is the third book in the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson uh, I loved this book uh, this series just keeps getting better and better. Uh, everyone uh, gives us kind of an insight to a certain character. We get to know their backstory. Um, we find out that pretty much all of them are these rather traumatized individuals who are really suffering and they're just trying to find a way to survive and get by and do the things that they need to do. The story is pretty complex. This is a magic system based on storms and jewels and kind of whatever creatures exist in this world and in case I guess it was kind of like a basic good versus evil except you know the main characters well not completely morally gray they certainly have a lot of flaws and it's about them overcoming them and accepting their pain pretty good um, so that one I finished so the next one I finished was called U-turn, get unstuck, discover your direction, and design your dream career. This is by Ashley Stahl. This was kind of a self-help book. It had some pretty good stuff in there. However, I'm not sure if I thought it was excessively helpful. Uh, self-help books kind of have this idea that we're all high-functioning people and not everybody is. So I guess this would work well for somebody who's pretty high-functioning. But she focuses a lot on like making more money and making more money in the career that you're in. I don't know that that works for everyone. It certainly doesn't work for me. Right? And then the last book that I finished was uh, Counseling and Psychotherapy by Carl Rogers. Uh, this was my professional reading this month. This book is really hard to rate because on one hand it's kind of a classic in the therapy realm. Carl Rogers is kind of a pioneer. But on the second hand, it has not aged well. His teachings are like part of psychotherapy, but only part of it. 
and his methods work well for people who are high functioning individuals who are committed to change and want to change but not for people who find change really difficult. Those are the seven books that I finished this week so I had a pretty good week. Next I'll get into like what I'm currently reading. So the first one that I'm reading right now is Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft and this is book one of the, the Babel series and this is a fantasy and there's this tower and people go to this tower I guess for vacation. I will probably finish this book this week. I'm over halfway. Next one that I'm reading is They Cage the Animals at Night by Jennings Michael Birch. Uh, this is a true story about a boy in and out of the foster care system and in the 1950s. It's actually pretty sad so but I'm again I'll probably finish this today. Uh, I'm kind of I am enjoying it, but that's the next one I'm finishing. Uh, the next one I'm listening to the audiobook is called Quietus by Tristan Palmgren, and I just picked this up because I'm doing an alphabet reading challenge, and this one started with Q. Uh, this is a science fiction interdimensional travels, so it's about a group of interdimensional travelers. Who have come to the era of the Black Plague to study the Black Plague. So far so good. Again I'll probably finish this today or tomorrow. And then the last book that I'm currently reading is The Wandering In, book three, part one, uh, Flowers of Elysium by Pirate Abba. And this is just one that me and my kids listen to. It's pretty long and so we haven't, uh, it's taken a bit longer and I only listen to it with my kids so it's when we're listening to stuff. Okay, so those are the ones that I'm currently reading. So next I'll go into the ones that I plan to pick up since I will probably be finishing these three, at least three of these today or tomorrow. So the next one, the physical book I'm going to pick up is The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum. And this is a spy novel, I guess. I can't say that I found a spy novel that I absolutely love. I haven't read a lot, but it's a genre that movies are usually okay, so... You know, I'm trying to see if maybe there's some books that might be okay. So that's the next one I'll be picking up. The next ebook I'll be picking up after Senlin Ascends is A Memory Called Empire, the, the Texalon series. This is the first book in the series. Don't know a whole lot about it, but I'll find out. And the one that I'll pick up after Quietus is the, the Crimson Vault, which is the Traveler's Gate, second book in the series by Will White. And this is about, it's also about interdimensional travel but it's based in a fantasy setting and these you have the ability to get magical items and magical powers from making deals with certain objects and things. So those are the books that I finished. Those are the ones that I am currently reading and what I plan to pick up next. If you like the video please like and subscribe and I Right now I'm posting videos Monday through Thursday. Have a have a great day and happy reading.